The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True, but this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control, and if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, Petruger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your processing, please I'm proceed directly to run. reception. And you should too. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. Shuttle Delta 1014, preparing for departure. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. 
head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint... Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in Haven't designated you areas. You must be with Thank that you for your cooperation. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Network, your universe now. The Union Aerospace Corporation. Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. We lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo Team now. Who knows? I just hope they don't take anyone from my squad. I hate pulling double shifts. I hear ya. Another replacement, huh? Another newbie. Welcome to the worst Mining assignment Station you'll ever Amman have. Is reporting nine dead and ah, someone new. In what appears to it's be always nice seeing new faces around here. During routine Hope you operations. enjoy your stay. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance Attention. area. Dr. People Braddock, down there are a little bit off. Well, I'm, really, I'm really trying to get this fixed quickly. So I'm, right right the I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. Yeah. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance to elevator. To Kelly Technicians ASAP. should use cabinet code 396 to access them. Don't you have some orders you need to be following? Yes, sir. I'm trying to reconfigure this. Welcome to the unit. I'll see you around.
took his sweet time, Marine? Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. No time to talk, bud. We both got work to do. Didn't you hear, Sarge? He gave you a mission to come out. Marie. When you complete your mission, report back. Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Strange creatures. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. <laughs> UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services.
Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. The most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Your stuff's in the storage cabinet. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. Oh, I haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Welcome to the dungeon. Enjoy your stay. Hey! You're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see... Uh, never mind. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Hey, buddy, I don't know if I can really help you with it. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. Power Gee. fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Do you make a Having habit the of sneaking constantly and losing power for several Everyone's minutes at a time is scaring now. everyone oh, down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old comm center, right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Yeah, don't no sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Sergeant Kelly, you need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Huh? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I... You don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built a 
this case. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God. I can't hold these levels. Help us. Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Leaders, give sit rest. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Lab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. The best. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders.
This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. station and set up a CP there. Out. Sergeant Kelly, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I'm unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. Specialist Wilson, my team is gone. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey now. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. 
Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed. But in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey and out. Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Audio report on troop morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my Marines sharp and ready to go, but events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing. No Marines, of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, Whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a razor's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. 
The new troops will be arriving within a few days. I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarter small weapons combat as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. Gotta get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated...
Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Holy cow! Surprised us. They just came out of nowhere. Access denied. I tried everything, but computers aren't responding. I can't get root access to the systems. We can't do it here. Marine, Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth in the upper parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be good. Stay sharp.
This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. granted. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative.